if you were using Techmatics form builders and calendar builders or a calendar booking link surveys, invoices, and stuff like that, you might have noticed that our link is actually coming from linkthetechmatics.com. Um, also, with a calendar, it actually is coming from linkthetechmatics.com. It is because this is our default um, API link for the forms, surveys, and calendars. Previously, we don't have any um, uh, customization that we can do to update those links. The only workaround that we can do is maybe embed our form or calendars into a funnel page so we can have our own branded domain. But recently, we now have a new update uh, that can be found in business profile, and this is what we call branded domain. This branded domain will allow you to add a customized domain on your forms and your calendars. If you're worrying that it might affect your existing forms, uh, calendars, surveys embedded to maybe your websites or maybe uh, promoted somewhere else and stuff like that, it won't affect your existing links. Um, but it will just update uh, your links. And you have the option to either maybe use your existing links with the link that's hackmatics.com or use your new branded domain that we're about to set up here. So yeah, so step by step, I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure that you have access to your domain server. So your domain server could be GoDaddy, Cloudflare, cPanel, Ionos, uh, Kinsta, or something like that. So if you um, are able to access uh, your DNS server, that would be a great start because we're going to add a CNAME record into your domain server. So what we need to do is on your settings, go to business profile, and in this branded domain, you can just easily type in the domain that you want to link. Um, currently, hang on, let me just try to click on this one. So we are only allowed to add a C name to this branded uh, domain, and we need to um, to point that C name into brand.ludicruscloud.com. So, uh, but in my case, our domain is actually hosted in, Go uh, in Google Domain, and Techmatics has a direct integration with Google Domains, GoDaddy, and other primary uh, domain server. That's why uh, we can add the domain automatically without going to our server because it will be connected here directly. So if you are someone who has their domain server in GoDaddy, uh, Cloudflare, cPanel, and also uh, Google Domain, you can follow this step because this is probably how it will show up when you're going to add it on your end. So for you to add a branded domain, it needs to be a subdomain or a C name. So it needs to be something like um, like anything that your domain that com so it could be the same with techmatics actually you can have link that your domain dot com in my case is i actually already used the link to techmatics com i might be using um um maybe a system that techmatics that com maybe i'll just use that or you can definitely uh, think of whatever domain that could suit your business it needs to be um a name here a period and then your domain.com or .com.au whatever your domain is so that's how you're going to do it so when i click on add domain you can just click on continue and again this process is for those um domain server who has direct integration with technetics so if you're from godaddy if you're from google domains this is how the ui or this is how this display will look onto your end so after you see this pop up just click on authorize domain and when you are redirected to the page, make sure that you're currently logged in into that exact account that has access to the domain. So in my case, I just switch over to a different email. And then it will give you this confirmation to connect your domain to a lead connector. Just click on Yes, Connect. Just wait for that to load. After you have this check mark, uh, check mark don't forget to close this window down. After you have closed that window now, uh, just wait for this page to uh, get finished or to be authorized, and you should be all good. While we wait for our domain to propagate, uh, I mean to connect, I'll show you how you can add a domain record into your domain server. So just a heads up, domain display or server domain server display might be different from one server to another. So this could be probably what you need to do. You need to head over to your... Um, domain server DNS, go to manage custom records or add new custom record. If you can see any create new record option, that would be it. 
make sure that your type would be a C name. And then on host name, you're going to type in what would be the host name. So in our case, earlier, we added system.techmatics.com, right? So it means that our, uh, our C name, or I mean, our host name is system. So just type in system in there. And then automatically, it will actually uh, have um, the .technetics.net in here, but it still varies from one uh, from server to server. So if you guys are not in sh uh, are not sure how to set this one up, you can just email us at supportedtechmatics.com so we can help you out. Okay, and then for the do uh, the domain name or the pointing domain for this one, it needs to be the domain name uh, that's added into I mean that's required to the branded domain. Let me just try to duplicate this page quick. Okay, so I just reloaded my domain. I mean my page. So we need to point the record into this brand that ludicrous.cloud. So just copy that record right there, uh, right there on the bubble. And then you need to head over to the main server and make sure the value, the pointing record, should be that word that you just copied from the uh bubble, uh bubbles uh on that page and just click save and automatically it will add a record so that's basically how you're going to do it or what needs to be done in order for you to add uh, a branded domain to your techmatics account my screen here is still loading because usually it would take some time to actually uh propagate so i'll just wait for it and i'll be back so i got now my uh, branded domain set up here um, a system at techmatics.com you have the option to modify it or update it or you can also delete uh, completely the branded domain if you like so yeah so that's pretty much all set so now let's try our um, existing links so we now have uh, these two links here for the calendar and also for the forms are actually coming from this um, account so I'm going to reload it or maybe open it in an incognito you can actually see that all the links are still working so again, it won't affect in any of your existing links, but it won't get updated also. So what you can also do is you can go back to your accounts. For example, if I go to calendars and then if I'm going to get the share link or booking link for my calendar, you will now see that it now has the permanent link as system.techmatics.com. So I'll just copy that, paste it on a new tab. It will look like this for the first five minutes because the domain is still propagating. Just give it a retry and give it five minutes uh, before it could uh, totally propagate. I just give it a minute and this is how our booking link now looks like. So it's coming from system, the technetics.com. If I'm going to compare it with the uh, first window I opened, uh, this one has the link, the techmatics.com. And as you can observe, if I go to system, the techmatics.com, it has the same uh, unique ID for the booking. So yeah, so it will just change this main domain right here, but it won't affect um, the booking ID or the booking link. So again, if you have an existing links for the forms and calendars, it won't affect its effectivity or um, its functionality. Um, it will still retain or it will still be like, you know, live and available. But if you want to start using um, calendar or booking links or maybe form links with a branded domain, I suggest you maybe generate new links coming from your calendars and forms so you can have a branded domain for your form and calendars. So yeah, so please let me know if this uh, tutorial is helpful. If you have any uh, suggestion on, uh, on some tutorial we could do, please let us know so we can work on it. Thank you.